Good morning. This, my friends, is Morning Delight, and I'm Celeste Kaplan, jumping on to do a little makeup and talk about priorities today. That's, that's the plan. <laughs> so I hope you guys are having a fabulous morning so far. Um, and I'm so excited to show you a very simple, easy uh, makeup look that makes a huge difference. So with no further ado, Let's do it. I'm gonna pull my hair back because that is gonna get in the way. Let's spray with a little setting spray first, just to get things going. Morning, Brandy, Sandra, Stacy. How are you lazy ladies doing? Hope good. Okay, the compact I'm gonna use for my entire face of makeup is called the Hack Stack today. And I love this one. So, um, I've got my 3D foundation on top, some of it. <laughs> this is basically, um, my highlight and contour are what create my foundation, okay? And then I've got all my lip colors, my bronzer, and my eye colors on the bottom. So I'll show you as I go along. This is the 30 second hack brush. It's called that for a reason, okay? So we're gonna highlight and contour do all the most important parts of makeup and see what a big difference it makes. So first off, I'm taking my foundation, this is called Sandy, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on my eyelids. And I've got my handy dandy um, eyeshadow everything brush. I'm gonna come in with this color called Zion. It's one of my favorites. It's just a warm, um, kind of like a sandstone color. There must have been another color in here. Hang on, it shouldn't have come out that heavy. Good morning, good morning, let's see. This is my little dry brush sponge thing that kind of takes the color out quick. Let's come back over here. Hey Catherine, good morning. Let's just smooth that baby out a little bit. I just put it right there in the crease and now I'm just going to work it up towards the brow bone and down a little bit towards my lash line and it came on heavier than I wanted so it's the brush's fault. It's my fault for not cleaning the brush out. Okay, here we go. This is what I was wishing to happen on this other eye. All right, so today I wanted to talk about priorities. <laughs> With makeup, there's things that can, you can do that make a big difference and things that make just smaller differences, right? So in the context of makeup, it's best to focus on the big difference things, the things that really accomplish our goal, right? Um, switch sides of this brush and I'm just going to take this color called Coal in my lash line really lightly and just kind of frame my eyes and get um, some bottom lashes going <laughs> basically and then let's do some mascara. So there's things that make a big difference and those are the things we want to focus on with our makeup. And the only way to tell the difference between the things that we want to focus on and not is to think about the goal. The overall goal, in my mind, of makeup is to make me look like the healthiest, prettiest version of myself, <laughs> right? And so, Focusing, using the word healthy kind of helps me kind of focus that in. So healthy means the skin's going to be full of some light and moisture. I'm going to have full lashes because I took all my vitamins, that kind of thing. Okay, so <laughs> let's get to it. Focusing on the skin makes a big difference. Here we go. We're going to come in with Sandy. Think of this color as my main, um, like a traditional, regular, old foundation color, but watch what it does. We're gonna paint it on 
and it's just going to have the smallest, I'm putting barely any on, and it's going to brighten at the same time as just smooth out the skin and make my skin look so healthy. Good morning, Donna. I like your short hand. <laughs> GM. GM, Donna. <laughs> okay. This is going to smooth out all the redness. I'm just going to go at it for a minute. Focusing kind of from the center of my face outward. Okay, and then right in the center of the chin, blend it out. Morning, Lindsay. Okay, now we don't want to lose the bone structure. So switch sides of the brush, waste no time setting it down and looking for another. And we're gonna go ahead and remind ourselves that we have cheekbones. Oh yeah, there they are. Shining forward, looking pretty. Okay, this color is called Olive and I love this one. It's a, it's a very ugh, perfect color. I'm not even gonna try to describe it. It's a little warmer than uh, Astoria, which I often use. But it's just right for framing your face, chiseling out your cheekbones, and refining that jawline a little. I saw that, Brandy! I'm so excited for you to try it. Please keep us in the loop do you, when you get it, if you love it. Um, oh, yeah! Stacy's been wearing the makeup. She's a newbie. She says it's because this makeup looks so much lighter on my skin but still provides full coverage. I just love it. Yay! That's what I love. So the purpose of makeup really in my mind is not to draw attention to the makeup itself but just to sort of make you look like the healthiest bestest version of yourself right? So a little bit goes a long way. All right. Um, I can't decide out of these two colors. I think I'm going to show you guys. I'm so stuck on this um, summer love, but I want to show you this one, Scarlet. So I'm just going to take the littlest bit and you can see it is so pigmented. A tiny bit goes a long way. So we're going to have to blend that out a little bit. But it's just this pretty red tone, like a hot red. When you're wearing red, it actually is really pretty to go with. Okay, this is called the Perfector Sponge. This just makes sure you have just the perfect amount of makeup on. Kind of blends it all and all that. Okay, now we're gonna brighten just a tiny bit more under the eyes. This is my accent highlight color. It's called Sunlit. Sunlit. <laughs> and um, you can think of this like in a traditional makeup line as your concealer maybe. That's what we'll call it for today. That's just going to have a teeny bit more brightening for us. And we just kind of focus on the very center of the face so that we can draw some light in there. Then a little illuminator. This is just a very subtle illuminator called Angel. It just has a kind of a dewy effect. Um, that I look like Frances O'Connor? I don't even know who that is. I've never heard that before. I'm gonna have to go look her up, Maria. That has intrigued me. I am doing the illuminator still, just tapping it in here. Um, the one I get most often is Kate Beckinsale. She's not really in shows much lately anymore though, so. I don't get it a lot anymore, but okay, 
little lip scents. This is just a trick I like to do. I take this Praline Rose lip scents and get the pigment onto the tip and then just line my lips a little. I like her in um, the, oh look how red that is, isn't that pretty? Um, Pearl Harbor. That's actually why I became a nurse, was Pearl Harbor. <laughs> I loved her in that. Okay, so that is full on red. I think I'm gonna tone it down a little. Let's try. This one. Summer Love. So all our lip and cheek colors are creams and so they can go on your cheeks and look so natural but then you can come in and utilize them on your lips as well. So it really simplifies your routine. Okay, now let's do brows. I've got this brush called the Hotline. It has this one for combing and doing all that fun stuff. We'll take this little angle brush and put a little color in the brows. Okay, so I was thinking about priorities in life today. And I realized, I kind of had an epiphany the other day. Because lately I've been kind of feeling like I've been running around like a chicken with their head cut off. <laughs> and I just feel like I'm always in a hurry to get so many things done and stressed at the end of the day that I didn't get enough done. You guys ever feel like that? Like, it's just this race and you're always losing. And I just kind of got to a point the other day where I was feeling just so sick of that. So sick of that feeling. And I realized that I kind of think what I was doing in my brain was everything was feeling of the of equal importance in my brain so i was having this big heavy i got a gazillion super important things on my mind all the time that i gotta get done and it occurred to me that my what my problem was <laughs> all the time okay thank you you're with me Lindsay. What my main problem is, I think, is I've got to list out the priorities. I've got to sit down <laughs> and redecide what it is that I'm creating here. What am I trying to accomplish in my life? And get a clearer vision of that. And then I'm going to list them out in order. Because when you can get the things that are most important done first, think I'll feel better. <laughs> so um, all the books that I've read, like this health help books, so even our Covey or Earl Nightingale, they're some of my favorite guys. They talk about doing first things first. That's one of the seven habits of highly effective people. And how can you possibly do that unless you know what first things are? <laughs> So in my mind, all of it's so important and feeling so press, pressing and crucial. And Stephen R. Covey talks about how a lot of times the most urgent tasks, the, the tasks that like, like the phone ringing, for example, that feels very urgent and we get it taken care of right away, right? But is that always that important? Sometimes the phone ringing, it could ring all day and keep you from the most important tasks. So. Anyways, he talks about kind of ordering things in the order of importance, looking at what your ultimate goals are so that you can get taken care of the most important things and not just the most pressing the things, the things that the outside world are telling you have to be done now. Because you just get in this mode where you're just doggy paddling, right? Do you feel like that? And you're so tired and worn out by the end of the day and all you've done is survived. <laughs> you didn't do the things that you really wanted to get done. So that 
that's my little thought on priority and I'm talking to myself because oh it is exhausting to feel like you're just always behind the eight ball on all of it and there's just so many good things to be doing so many great ideas so many ways to improve your life and if all of them are of equal importance to you all the time it just starts to feel like this big heavy cloud keeping you down Lindsay says, my patients are that way with the phone. I can, I can be right in the middle of doing a treatment and it's like they have to answer the phone. Yes, old people are so like that with their phones. <laughs> I've noticed it with my parents. It's like they got used to in the old days, if someone called you, there was no way to know who it was uh, like they didn't have the caller ID back in the days and you would miss calls like if you weren't home So I think that sense of urgency isn't as real for our generation <laughs> As it is with older generations like I'll be with my mom out to lunch And we'll be having this heartfelt conversation and the phone rings and it's over <laughs> But she doesn't do it on purpose. It's just funny how that works. Let's set with a little setting spray but I'm just like that, like not with the phone necessarily, but I kind of think of myself as the dog from up, like I go, I'll be going along and then it's like squirrel, <laughs> what, what's this thing? Or, or I tend to order my tasks in order of maybe what I think I could get done fastest or um, I end up going from room to room doing some kind of chore and I get distracted by something. Um, anyways, one of the tips that I liked from, I think it was Earl Nightingale's book, Lead the Field, he talked about listing in order, taking a look at what your, he says to often look at what your ultimate goal is. So he, he talks about having like a mission statement, personal mission statement, or sometimes people have like vision boards or whatever. Looking at that and then keeping that always in the forefront of your mind and then listing tasks in order of importance and never moving on to the next task without completing the first one unless you're unable to for some reason complete that first one. And that channeling of your energy helps you get it done faster and more efficiently and then you can move on. So that's what I'm gonna get off here and do. <laughs> it needs to be done big time. And I think the most important piece of that is figuring, like reminding ourselves what it is that is most important to us, what it is that we're working to create right here in this life. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Hey, Brandy has a comment. I wish you had subtitles and as an option. I haven't heard a single word you've said. Oh, I'm sorry. Subtitles would be frightening <laughs> for me. All these disconjointed sentences would appear on your screen and words that don't mean anything. That would be scary, but <laughs> you're sweet, Brandy. Okay, so if you love the idea of doing all your makeup from one compact. I think I used four brushes, but it was actually eight because they're double-ended, girls. If you like the simplicity of this makeup, um, let me help you out. I can give you a little consultation right here online and help you with colors. Just because I put it on lots of faces, I, I can, I can, help you figure it out <laughs> and I love to um, it's so fun to simplify your beauty routine but not cut any corners out of the beauty and so um, let me know if you want some help just comment makeup below if you're interested otherwise I'm gonna be back tomorrow and we'll talk some more fun makeup stuff and I hope you guys have such a great Tuesday a, a, a delightful Tuesday <laughs> all right take care thanks so much, Angelica. I hope you had a happy Mother's Day yourself. Bye-bye now.